five rounds, slow fire with the stock trigger whenever you're ready. Okay. Turn and face this way. Okay. All right. So, what were your kind of initial thoughts between the two? No, there's a definite dif difference between the two. The the stock trigger, again, you don't feel like you have a lot of finger control on your tip of your finger, whereas your guys' system, you can definitely feel every single trigger pull from the reset all the way forward and back again. So you feel like your your finger's stuck there. It's, it's in that position, it's not going anywhere. So you have a lot more control. Good, well let's try with gloves on. Go ahead and throw those gloves on and do it side by side and keep your socks on. So whenever you're ready. Pressure brake on you. Well, what are your thoughts with the gloves? I never used gloves uh, because I wanted to make sure I had a total feel of the gun and control. Um, but with this trigger system here, with gloves, you have control. You still have control. You can feel it. And mentally, it's given that image back to my, my hand-eye coordination, everything back, that my finger's where it needs to be. So um, you did a 20-year law enforcement career. Yes. And so you shied away from using gloves just because yeah because you have to feel no matter what the weather is if it's 100 100 degrees outside and you're sweaty you still need to be able to feel that gun and where your finger is on that trigger at all times um with this system it doesn't matter if it's cold or hot or if you have gloves on you have complete control of of knowing exactly where your finger is at it's like giving you a a mental perspective each and every trigger pull that your finger is exactly where it needs to be. Got a, a, a nice uh, tight grip there. And so clearly, I guess, uh, you know, one would say, well, you shoot good enough with a stock gun that you wouldn't need to upgrade, you know, your weapon system to a trigger like this. And what would your response be to that? Um, okay. So 20 years, right? I've been the minimalist guy that would have the most... Uh, minimal amount of gear on my my belt at any given time mm -hmm. because you you can only train so much and, and know that weapon system um, that you have on your belt optimally right mm -hmm. this i never did upgrade any of my stuff um, but for this yes feeling it i would upgrade it because if you have to grab your gun in the middle of the night and it's nighttime and you're you got your pjs on and that type of stuff you know what i mean you know exactly where your finger is even with the night sights right um, so even in a situation like that that's going to be a fast acting dynamic situation you know exactly where you stand because it puts that right amount of pressure that you know exactly where you're at and mentally you know whether it's go or no go and you feel more comfortable putting the round down range right because you, mentally it's telling you you're good it's right there so would it be fair to say that even with your current skill level the um, the pressure brake trigger system gives you more confidence as a shooter absolutely mentally yeah just in the short amount of time we, we shot less than 60 80 rounds mm -hmm. and there's a distinct difference between those two and yeah i feel more confident in this because again it's a it's like the bell right pavlov's you yeah. know what i mean it's yeah. it's it's training you like here you're there you're there you're there whereas this one you're sliding around a lot um within that so it's, it's a good system i like it